Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing this custom music themed lattice underbust corset. This is made by With Pleasure by Jan. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. I'm not going to talk too much about the length and fit of this corset because every single one of Jan's courses is made to order, made to measure, completely custom. So uh, Jan made this corset to be 24 inches in the waist for me and then um, the rib cage is 29 inches and the iliac crest here is 33 inches but she designed it to have a small gap in the back just to show off the modesty panel. I find this corset to be very posture corrective so it's very sturdy and flat in the front here and it's also very um, stiff in the back here. Uh, like I'm going to show you later on, all of Yon's corsets by default are double boned, very very hefty. She likes to use a lot of bones. So um, I find this to be extremely sturdy corset. Jan says that this is a cupped rib underbus, but uh, it's not like the cuppiest I've ever experienced, but there is a little bit of roundness in the rib cage here. But you can um, really clearly see that the hips here do cup over and uh, they're, they're quite comfortable. They're not um, pitching on my hip area and they give a nice rounded uh, hip effect right here, but they also stop like just a tiny bit above my iliac crest. So it's not like um, pressing down on the bone itself. So here's a corset laid flat and the first thing I want to mention is that Jan makes a matching uh, little dust bag to store the corset and also a matching gift with every corset. In my case I got a little hairpin here, it's really cute rose. So for the materials it's four layers if you count the fusible interfacing. So it has the fashion fabric and that is interfaced and then you have the um, the strength layer which is usually twill and if you wanted a really heavy duty and you wanted um, five layers if you wanted an additional um, layer of twill in there she said that she can do that for you now if you prefer to have couture instead of twill then she can absolutely do that for you she says it starts at uh, $20 markup for couture uh, and it goes up to $35 depending on the type of like special couture that you want um, and then the lining here, as I mentioned before, is floating. And this is uh, also in uh, plain black cotton twill. Uh, she says that she can have like novelty prints or any sort of special prints uh, as a liner. Uh, that is just a $15 markup. And this is what Jan's label looks like here. Just want to show you a close up of the ribbon here so you can see it's actually a lattice corset. So this is a continuous piece of ribbon. It's not, you know, printed on and pattern matched. Uh, how, what she did was she made pretty much the whole corset beforehand, except for um, like the front and back panels. And then she very carefully um, laid down this ribbon here. And you can see when I try to lie it flat, it comes up, it bubbles up a little bit like that. That means that it's properly roll pinned. So that means that um, when I wrap it around myself and it's going around the curves of my waist and my hips and all that, it's not going to stretch the ribbon and cause stress on it because this is actually quite a little delicate, sweet little ribbon. So even though it might look like a simple design, it's actually quite tricky to pull off properly. This corset is difficult to lay on its side just because of the stiff and modesty panel in the back, but this has a six panel pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it looks like uh, there's a sturdy top stitch in between all of these panels here and uh, double boned on the seams. And as I mentioned earlier, it has a nice floating uh, liner inside to hide everything. And I can actually see the outline of the waist tape through this fabric. So it is stitched um, in between the layers. It's invisibly stitched one inch wide and it runs right from the front busk all the way to the back here. So the binding is made from black cotton and it's made with the same material that is uh, featured on the center front and center back channels here. So it is machine stitched on both the top side and on the underside and you can see that it's very tidy. Um, it looks like it, it was stitched in the ditch on the front here and then of course there is that little necessary lip in the back. The modesty panel in this course is quite wide. It's about six and a quarter inches wide. And you can see that it has uh, two bones here going horizontally so that when you're tightening down the corset, it's not gonna crumple too much. And it's suspended on the laces with these sets of grommets here. But there is no modesty placket on the underside of the busk here. 
The busk in my corset seems to be uh, 10 and a half inches long, and so it comes very, very close to the bottom and the top binding there, so there's no little floppy bits, which I appreciate. It's a standard flexible busk, so it's half an inch on each side, and uh, it, it does have a little bit of flexibility, but because there's so many uh, flat steel bones in the front here, it really helps to keep the abdomen flat in front. And it has five loops and pins all equidistantly spaced. So by default, all with pleasure corsets come with double boning on the seams, unless it conflicts with the actual, like a specific design or style that the customer asked for. There are 24 bones total in this corset, so 12 on each side, and you can see that um, it all attracts the magnets, so I know that they are steel. It's a mix of spirals and flats here. So you can see um, in between the panels here, two, four, six, eight, ten, and I feel that this one is a flat, to help keep the abdomen flat. This one feels like a flat as well. This one curves over the hip, so this one's a spiral. This one's a spiral, and these are flats in the back here. And then you can see that there's another um, wide flat steel bone supporting uh, the grommets at the back there, and there is uh, another flat steel bone in the front helping to support the busk. And there are 26 grommets in the back of this corset, all equidistantly spaced, a little bit more than an inch apart here. They're size double zero, finished in silver. They have a medium flange. Again, this is a very popular type of corset that you see with uh, American corset makers. And the bone at the edge here is very, very sturdy. One thing that I'm not accustomed to seeing is uh, this other bone on the other side of the grommets sort of being a little bit farther away. Uh, so far, the grommets are holding in pretty well. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. And moving the modesty panel aside, you can see that all of them have nice big washers um, and they're holding in quite nicely. Some of them, um, there are a couple of splits, but they actually don't catch on the laces. And the laces themselves are this uh, flat shoelace style lacing. Uh, it's very uh, resistant to abrasion and uh, it has a relatively low profile actually. I find that I can lace up quite easily with this. Like I mentioned before, Eon's corsets are all custom made and made to measure and they start at $200 US. If you wanted a lattice corset like this one, this is $250. And if you wanted to change some specs about this corset, for instance, upgrading to Couture instead of Twill, this is a, an average upgrade of about $20. And this concludes my review of the Lattice music themed corset. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there and help support the channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or uh, With Pleasure by Yawn in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to get back to you. And I will see you all after the weekend for the next video. Bye.